We'll talk about a major mess at a Detroit school. Heavy rains causing water to pour through the roof at Dixon Educational Learning Academy. So what's the district telling parents about the problem tonight? Well, 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live on the city's west side with the answer for us. Hey, Kim. We're in back of the school, and if I step out of the way, you can see some of the areas on the roof where some of the work is being done. A tipster said the affected areas inside the school were closed to students, but one teacher slipped and fell. When it was raining outside today, it was pouring inside Dixon Educational Learning Academy on Detroit's west side. Tipsters say school workers had to use dumpsters and garbage cans to catch the water so it didn't spread all over the building. Oh my goodness. Actually, the school have to be closed if that's what's going on right now. School need to be closed right now until that's situated because that's, that's inappropriate right now. A tipster says the roofers that have been working on replacing the roof failed to properly tarp the area before it rained. One parent who did not want us to show her face said water leaks were also an issue last year. When I would be walking down the hallway, walking my son to class, it would be water like it looked like it was coming through the walls on the floor. It'd be like a little puddle. A spokesperson for Detroit Public Schools says the water leakage is due to problems with an outdated roof. The district hired a company to repair the roof over the summer and that work will be completed shortly. They go on to say what happened today demonstrates the need for the repairs. That's scary. That meant that it's like they need to fix, do some repairs on the building. Like the school is not a bad school. It's not dirty. It stay clean and everything. But it don't it don't offend me because everybody, all these schools need to be fixed up. The district spokesperson said the work done today should prevent another major leak, and all of the repairs should be completed by the end of October. On Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, Seven Action News.